Flawed policies and sudden shocks have thrust Lebanon into its worst economic crisis in decades, with its currency collapsing, businesses shutting, prices for basic goods skyrocketing, and the threat of hunger looming for its poorest people. Lebanese have long stood out in West Asia for not letting political upheaval or civil violence get in the way for enjoying the finer things in life. Underlying this lifestyle was a long-standing government policy that kept the value of the Lebanese lira pegged to the U.S. dollar, allowing the Lebanese to interact seamlessly with the world economy. But that system has unraveled in recent months, fueling an economic collapse that has been exacerbated by a government-imposed lockdown aimed at stopping the spread of the coronavirus. The country's unemployment rate has soared to 35 percent. Lebanese media reported on Friday, June 12, that the exchange rate had tumbled to 6,000 per dollar on the black market, compared to the official peg of 1,507 in place since 1997. As a result of the plunging national currency, demonstrators shut roads across the country with burning tires in renewed nationwide protests. Protesters also rallied against the governor of the central bank, Riyad Salemi, whom protesters accused of having encouraged state borrowing over the decades that they say benefited only the banking and political elite. The cabinet expressed that it would like to see Salemi removed from the position he has held since 1993, but major sectarian political leaders of the country stood firm behind Salemi, threatening that the dollar might plunge to dangerous rates if Salemi is ousted. A nation of 5.4 million on the Mediterranean with a variety of religious sects and large groups of Syrian and Palestinian refugees, Lebanon has long suffered from internal conflict and spillover from the wars afflicting its neighbors. Its historically weak government has relied on increasing amounts of debt to pay its bills while failing to carry out reforms that could have bolstered its economy. Welcome to the Mideast Stream, Amar Osman.